Hi, I'm Nancy Clark. And I'm Mary Wallace Phillips. We're the Hospice and Briefing Coordinators for VO in Oxford, and this is Morning Chats with Anne Marie and Nancy. continue talking about uh, children's grief and we're going to talk about doses of grief. So unlike adults, children have a very difficult time sitting with their intense emotions for long periods of time. To protect themselves, children dose themselves with grief, separating moments of grief with playtime. Children are able to jump from grief to enjoyment or joy, quickly transitioning from one emotional extreme to the next. Puddle jumping, as we talked about last week. Absolutely. Remember jumping into that puddle of mud and getting all wet and yicky, and then when you're out of that puddle, you're no longer in the mud. Adults might perceive this behavior as disrespectful or problematic, but this type of behavior is completely normal and actually is healthy. Going back and forth or oscillating between confronting and distancing themselves from their grief is how children cope with loss. It's a very protective factor which children have and need. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So on that note, uh, we'll move over to regrieving and what this means for children. Um, so as children continue to age and develop, it is normal for them to revisit questions, ideas, and beliefs about dying and death. So in an effort to understand what has happened and in their search for meaning, um, they will do a process known as regrieving. Yeah. So this occurs um, with mm -hmm. special occasions, yeah. milestone events, or any type of event where the absence of a deceased person is really felt and noted. Absolutely. Yeah. So that could be birthdays, holidays, graduations, um, during times of personal growth, puberty, yeah. um, marriages, are all times when someone may really feel that void in their life um, and miss that person who's died. So this can cause a child to really re-examine and mull around um, their experience and to understand death a little bit more. And it can definitely bring back intense feelings and even new feelings that they may have. Um, and we must understand that grief is a lifelong Absolutely. process. It's something that will come around again and again and it's completely natural and healthy for a child to regrieve the loss again and again. Mm -hmm. um, we see as their understanding of death evolves, again, this comes often with age, they find new ways to express themselves. Mm -hmm. And with age, uh, further development, um, there's a more um, developed understanding of, of death. So if a child experiences the death of a loved one at an early age, um, he or she uh, will continue to regrieve uh, de the death um, when they have more concept and when they have more understanding about death. This is very common. We see this very common in a kids' circle when our participants have had a death at a young age and they come to us maybe, you know, even four or five years mm -hmm. um, after the death because they're really at that age or that development that they need to explore and they need to make sense of it. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why with our kids' circle bereavement program, we allow kids to come yeah. back again and Absolutely. again um, because their experience at five years old might be very, very Absolutely. different than their experience at eight years old or ten years old yeah. or even moving into their teen years. So we really wrap ourselves around them yeah. and, and help support them that whole way through. Yeah. Yeah. So again, for more information, contact us by phone or email or visit vuanoxford.ca. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view all of our um, morning chat videos. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.